we have a full house and an overflow crowd. Uh, we want everyone to hear every word. Uh, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the Plains Art Museum tonight. I'm Colleen Sheehy, the director here at Plains. And we're here to toast Modern Man in a program called Meet the Supreme Genius, which some of you may know. <laughs> his, uh, his email address is Supreme Genius. Uh, when I was talking to him about the possibility of doing a program like this, he said, well, the first uh, exhibition I had, I, he does things backwards. And the first exhibition he had was a retrospective. Uh, so we thought that today would be his debut. So he's kind of going back in time like Brad Pitt and uh, Benjamin Button or whatever that movie was. Uh, so we're here to toast Modern Man, one of the treasures of, of Fargo. And one context for the program is that uh, he has a piece from his series called Andy, You Use Me in the Individual to Icon exhibition that's now on view. It's in the first and third floor galleries. And Modern's piece is up in the third floor. It's a portrait exhibition. Uh, and it's something that I started working on shortly after I arrived in Fargo a little uh, less than two years ago. Uh, but before I get into more of the story, and I think you'll be hearing a lot of stories tonight, uh, I want to take a minute to thank the people who helped us uh, put together Individual to Icon and made it possible. And uh, that includes the Elizabeth Firestone Graham Foundation that helped to uh, support the publication of the catalog that has Modern's piece in it uh, as a reproduction and has some commentary on Modern Man. Uh, I don't know if he's in another uh, museum catalog, so that's available in our store. Uh, we also got support from uh, the Microsoft Division in Fargo and then from a number of individuals and businesses. Uh, Sharon Hilgers of Park Company, Kurt Kiefer, Arlette Preston of Home Instead Senior Care, and Carol, um, Carol Rogney of DFC Consultants. So uh, if you know them or see them, thank them for their support in making this possible, which also includes tonight's program. So um, I came to Fargo, and shortly after I arrived, and I was thinking about this portrait show, our curator at the time, Rusty Freeman, said, you have to meet Modern Man. He has made portraits on potato chips. And I thought, you're kidding me. Um, I have to meet that person. And so eventually, I, I heard more and more about Modern. And uh, eventually, I did meet him. And I got to go to his art storage, which is in a very unique uh, place that I'm not going to reveal because it's secret and you know artists need to keep those secrets. So, um, but I was really happy to be able to include one of his pieces in Individual to Icon, and then a, sh a short time ago we had more of that series, Andy, You Use Me, up on the second floor. Um, but that, those have come down now. But I, I did learn uh, from so many people's stories about the, uh, the treasure that Modern Man is for Fargo, and really for art in this whole region, because he did spend time in the Twin Cities, and uh, that's where he changed his name legally to be Modern Man. And he also made the scene there and was in the newspapers there. Uh, he really is an artistic force in this region. And one of the things that I've really appreciated is how he's such a conceptual artist, that he's really adept in his technique and his use of media and his innovation in media but it's almost more um, the idea of the piece, uh, even more than the piece itself that is important. And so he really is in the, the tradition of Marcel Duchamp and Andy Warhol, whose portrait is upstairs, uh, of thinking about the concept and the idea of the piece. And also being a trickster, you know, keeping us on our toes, uh, being a provocateur, and that's an important thing that art does. Uh, so, one of my favorite stories that I've heard uh, since I've been telling people about this program to come, uh, and this was just a totally new one that no one had ever said, is that they really loved that he had a project where he proposed to Anheuser-Busch to paint the giant uh, 
grain elevators just outside of Moorhead to look like a 12-pack of Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> and this person said, every time I drive on I-94, I look at that and I see it as a 12-pack of Budweiser. <laughs> because eventually Anheuser-Busch said no. <laughs> And so I thought, well, now when I drive on 994, I see it as a big 12 pack of fun. <laughs> so what a brilliant work of art. It's all in your imagination. And you know that that is something that he made us see. And it's not even there. <laughs> uh, and then the other amazing thing, you know, along with a lot of the serious stuff that he does, is that he can write cursive backwards. And some of you probably have seen that. Uh, there's a letter in to Rusty Freeman in a file we have on him that's totally written backwards in cursive. And so you have to hold it up to a mirror to read it. <laughs> it's just brilliant. So we're here to uh, hear more about his life, his overview of the way he sees his life and career. And for, We'll start with Modern doing a, a presentation about his work. And then we're going to have uh, three people from the community uh, do some short testimonials because we are here to toast. Not roast, but toast. Uh, so we have Karen Stoker, who's a huge art patron in the area and developer and, and uh, owner of the downtown. Fargo Catalyst the Hotel Donaldson, who will be speaking, and then Stan Hopeland, who's a longtime uh, patron and friend of Modern's, and then uh, Raul Gomez, who's publisher of the High Plains Reader. And that will be followed by an open mic. So uh, other people and friends, uh, feel free to get up and, and do a short little uh, story, remembrance, because uh, what I have discovered is that everyone has a story about modern man. I remember the time. So we're here to uh, honor uh, an artist in our midst, and please welcome modern man.